Bill McKinley isn't really a golfer. Like many who joined Oakville's Save Glen Abbey group, he just wants to preserve green space in his town. This area here can't accommodate the growth. It's uh, pure and simple. He was among those pleasantly surprised by this morning's announcement that the golf course will be preserved without further fight. Opposition has been fierce. The uh, elected officials have said that there's something like 15,000 emails that have come in over the the course of uh, five years saying save this course do something it's just uh, good news out of the blue Oakville Mayor Rob Burton says he found out this morning with everyone else when this statement came from Municipal Affairs Minister Steve Clark saying in part I reached out to the golf course's owners club link and secured a commitment from them to not only withdraw their appeals with the Ontario Land Tribunal, but also to immediately withdraw their plans for development and continue the operation of Glen Abbey as a golf course. He used an unexpected tool, the telephone. He picked up the phone and called uh, club link to ask them if they wouldn't like to reconsider. and. Uh, and they said, well, you know, apparently they've said, well, yeah, we'd rather run a golf course. In 2015, Glen Abbey's owners announced plans to build a new Glen Abbey subdivision. It wasn't long before opponents organized and Save Glen Abbey signs appeared on lawns all over town. Oakville Council then designated the whole course as a heritage property, but the development fight continued and was headed into months worth of tribunals this summer. Oakville and Halton passed resolutions and this morning even the city of Hamilton's council voted to support saving the course. For Oakville MPP Stephen Crawford, it is an election promise fulfilled. The province was going to support the residents of Oakville. so. Perhaps they saw the writing on the wall. I can't speak for them. Glen Abbey opened here in Oakville in 1976. It was the first course designed by golf legend Jack Nicholas. They've made a commitment to carry on Glen Abbey as a golf course. And let's remember, this is a treasure not only for the people of Oakville, but indeed for the people of Canada. There's been 30 Canadian Opens there. Could you imagine the British wanting to bulldoze and put condos on St. Andrews? Or the Americans building condos on on Augusta, it, it's inconceivable. The owners of Glen Abbey Golf Course did put out a statement today agreeing that they've abandoned their plan to put more than 3,000 homes plus commercial space on the golf course. I reached out to the company for comment, but I didn't get a response. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.